before we get into the scram, we're having a game of dodgeball. Yeah. 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 Okay, come on, give us the ball. Ready, go! Oof! It's alright, it's a squidgy ball. What are you doing, Robin? Did she get you in the yeah, face? I was going to move this one. Oh, that's not a very good way of playing dodgeball. I got it! I got it! Ready? Go! Oh, good dodging. You didn't get that chair. Look at you, Robin. Oh, you got it. Robin, you're in the middle. Well, this is, okay. Robin, this isn't how you dodge. <laughs> right, let her have another go. Go on, get in your position. Now what? You ready? Okay, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I miss you, well done, good dodging. She got you on the foot, Robin. Well, she did. I've got video evidence. No, you didn't. No. <laughs> Get in the middle, Robin. Got you. Oh yeah. Okay. I am. Go Larry, go on. Go back. La okay, Larry, oh, Robin, you got that side down. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not fair. You ran into me. Okay. Dodge there. No. A chance, I said. Sprawl to the floor. Okay. Ready? Miss me. You bitch. You have to get so close, don't you? Let's get. Oh, that's it. Got oh, you got me. <laughs> okay, steak baguette. Yes, onion to start with. Leftover onion from the other day. Me and Kat are both having a steak baguette today. We like them differently. Um, I think I'll be having French mustard on mine. Kat will be having horseradish. Um, I'll be honest with you, we've probably, hang on, that's not to talk just yet, I'm just going to slice the old onion, and we're having it on a chia batter today, um, we're looking forward to this, I've been looking forward to this since I bought it, mushrooms next, bag of mushies, got more, went shopping yesterday morning, it was bad, um, but we've got mushrooms and that's the main thing. So we're probably just gonna just, uh, cut them like that. And then we're just gonna chop the hard mushrooms up. You know, I'm always a little bit wary of cutting on camera. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of Filippo Berio, Filippo Berio, Filippo Berio, Olive Oil, la 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 Filippo Berio, for the brands, or baby. Um, so for the steak, I don't know why I say, I always say it's wrong. This isn't that I'm put on for the camera, ask my wife. Uh, whenever I, uh, whenever I use Filippo Berio, Filippo Berio, Filippo Berio, Olive Oil, la 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 I don't know when it was on an advert or something. So I like to just really pepper my oil. 
quite a bit, to be honest with you. So the steak itself, it's a sirloin steak, just from Morrison's, nothing special. Um, it was on offer, they didn't have ribeye steak, uh, so we went with the hard sirloin there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lob that in there and just get that all over the steak. Just really so get it in there. So I'm not gonna throw any oil onto me griddle or anything like that, I'm just gonna Caress, caress that pepper into the steak. Just get it all over. So the steak's been out of the fridge for probably an hour and it's been uncovered for an hour as well. Um, if you buy, it's not so bad when it's like just a little bit of cling film like that, but if you buy like a backpack steak, steak or something like that, um, quite often I think Aldi do backpacks, you need the air to get to that steak and just sort of bring it back to life. Um, but I'll always bring the temperature down. You don't, well, bring the temperature up. You don't want it coming straight out of the fridge. Uh, it just doesn't cook right. Uh, cooking a steak on camera, I realise, I didn't touch my face then. I see, I was so close to touching my face. Um, people are gonna like to do it different ways and there's no right way and the wrong way there is. If you want the right way, I'm damn sure. It will be in the greatest cookbook known to man, which is Lerouche Gastronomique. Uh, this will tell you absolutely everything. The world's greatest cookery and cookery encyclopedia. That will tell you the right way and the wrong way to do everything. I am damn sure of it. Um, but for me, um, I like it pepper. I don't have the salt until it goes into the pan. So it draws that moisture out of the, and dries out the steak and stuff like that. So I want that in, I want that sealed. Some people put the salt on at the end. Absolutely fine, do what you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Yeah, just gonna fry off the onions and mushrooms in some butter. Get nice and heated up. Can't forget to season them as well. Put some salt and some black pepper over here. Put a little bit of oil in there as well. Just stop it from burning. Okay, so that's the onions and mushrooms all done now. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven uh, while I cook my steak. So I've got the grill pan just heating up on here. That'll, that's, that's nearly hot actually, that's burning my fingers. Um, so we're sorted there. So as you can see, got the nice old steak in there. That is literally just gonna get put on there and cooked and not for very long either, if I'm honest with you. Just gonna heat this little tray up a little bit. Just take the chill off that because I'm going to rest my steak on that one. Cut the chill batter. Just, just, just like that. No problem whatsoever. No need for a chopping board or anything like that. Nicely cut. So steak wise, you can see that beautiful steak there. I'm going to get the last of that pepper. I'm just going to throw that on there like that. It's not going to take long. So, it's not the um, the thickest steak that. Where have I put my salt now? Bloody hell. So, I'm just gonna give that a good old grind there on that. Again, you don't need to, um, I'll just turn the light on. You don't need to go overboard there because we can always add more salt. You can never take it away. That's what chefs tell you. Always add more, never take it away. Uh, it's not going to take too long, but as I so said when I was cooking the chicken and that, just don't remove move it until it's ready. So, minute, maybe two, uh, I might try and turn it around. It will tell you when it's ready to lift up, there you go, see? Ready to lift up. So as you put it on, you can see those beautiful lines there. We're just going to throw that on there as well. And we're just going to leave that then. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Oh, look at that, baby. 
fit. That is a steak. That is a beautiful, beautiful steak. Oh, look at that. The missus has put the butter in there. Oh, the cat's coming. You're not having any of my steak, lad. None of it. He's not having any of my steak. He can sod right off. Oh, look at that for a steak and a half there. That is absolutely fantastic. I reckon that that steak is about done, you know. So literally, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rest it on this tray now. There's loads of smoke in this kitchen, you know. So yeah, there's my steak. Whoa! That's just gonna rest for a few minutes. It's on a nice warm pan, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna turn all this down because it's getting far too smoky in here. So what I've done is I've attempted to butter some chia batter but failed miserably over here because the butter's come straight out of the fridge. It's kind of irrelevant. All we're gonna do now is I just cut that chia batter up. You won't be able to see this. See there? I've just buttered terribly some chia batter and now all I'm gonna do is simply just throw it down on there. And I'm just gonna turn that right down now and you can just see that wonderful chia batter just cooking nicely on there and yeah absolutely gorgeous can you even see me through the smoke in this kitchen it's absolutely terrible in here now ridiculous um i'm gonna start tidying up because cat's giving me daggers from behind the camera oh that is oh man that's in the steak juices that one oh yeah yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, that's what it was supposed to look like. This one's covered in steak juice. Still gonna be good though. And again, I I tend to just like to do it on one side only because you can still feel that these are hot, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm sound with that. I like that. I'll probably just throw them on there for now. That's really what it's supposed to look like. Cat can have that one because I'm a good husband. Ish. Am I a good husband? She's smiling. I don't know whether to take that as a good or a bad thing, but we are where we are. We'll check the old onions and mushies while we're here. They're looking good. Yeah, they're nice, them, aren't they? There's loads in there. That's the other thing, isn't it? Tucker, well, can you see him? He is going wild down here. Do you want some sirloin steak, mate? Do you want some sirloin? You can't have any cat. <laughs> it's all mine. And cats. So there we go. There's the old onions and the uh, mushrooms. Steak then. Do what you want to do. Eat the fat if you want. I know cat likes it without the fat on. So I'm just going to cut that off. Been rested for about, oh, I'd say, five minutes maybe, maybe maybe a bit longer. So you want to cut against the grain. Um, so here we go. Nice and rare in there. Looks good to me. Um, It'll be much tender, less chewy if you just cut it against the grain. You can just see that, can't you? That's just absolutely beautiful there. So, there, there, there. That's our da -da 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 batter. We need some mushrooms. 
I'm therefore having more butter on mine. going for Dijon. <laughs> Those are upside down again. And I'm going for French. I know, you shouldn't have French mustard and mayonnaise. But it's bloody lovely. Oh, I forgot cat's lettuce as well. It's a disaster. What? Just give me grief from the side there. All eats the same, babe. That is good eating. It's like just melting in the mouth. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah. That's bloody good, that. What's your for dinner, babe? We'll do something for dinner. I'm not recording it. It's an absolute arse eh, to record these. So you better like the video, subscribe, click that notification bell, of course. Uh, I'm going to go and play dodgeball with the rest of the family in a bit. Um, again, and probably the unicorn game. You, oh, you look forward to the unicorn game. That'll be coming next week. Try. Girls, what the heck have you two been doing? I mean, thanks for not interrupting the video, but you've given us about four hours of work here to tidy up. What have you made there? What you made? I'm what? 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 Stop it. Stop what? 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 